what's going on guys, I'm back from my feast in the video now because if you're talking to someone or they're talking to you through a video it's better to see their feast. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make your video and audio look and sound more professional and cinematic using Sony editing software. Please note that the camera I'm using is a Samsung ES55, it's pretty standard, 3x optical zoom, 640x480 pixels and this will prove how good you can edit to make it look cinematic. And if you want to get a good camera with a wide angle lens, do that because it really helps make the video look better quality and more professional. So for the settings on the camera then, I would keep um, the exposure auto and white balance auto. But say if you're using um, spotlights, you'd use the tungsten or fluorescent. But to get a good automatic feel like as you pan across different lighting, I'd use automatic. Um, keep it highest quality of resolution and frame rate. You can turn on voice if you're going to speak into the camera, but I'm not at the moment. That just saves its SD card space. So that's the settings for the camera done. So there's lots of things you can do to go from this to this. Okay, to start with, we open up a file. I'm going to choose one from my SD card. I'll scroll down to find the SD card. I shall load up the video I just took. So in this video on the sound, it's just another tip. If you right click on the sound part, you click group and remove from, and you just click delete. Now if you look, it's 16, so it's not 16 by 9, it's 4 by 3. So you go to event and crop, you hold down control, and you drag up that until it becomes 16 by 9. You'll lose a little detail and a little of the bottom and top of the video, but it's still pretty good. So that has now made it look um, professionally aspect ratio. Um, so now you need to go to Event FX, and then you go to Brightness and Contrast. Click OK. This will give you, obviously, Brightness and Contrast levels. I would pull the contrast down a bit to give it really deep feeling. You go pick another one, I'm going to go for colour balance, click OK. Now if you have less reds, I find it looks pretty cinematic, more kind of blues like that. That's just my opinion. Um, now it's going to be a bit of a quick video, so saturation adjust. adjust. I'm going to go to amount, I'm going to take it down a bit and put that down a bit try and make it so there's not too much colour that looks okay so now we're going to render it we're going to go to render as type in maybe cinema test and if we've done the aspect ratio changer which I've shown you in the video. You have to go for at least 720, otherwise it's just it's going to be a smaller window if you choose say 3 megabits per second video or something like that. So if you look at the details of that, it's high quality audio, 1280 by 720 HD. That works for me. So I'm going to render that and. This is kind of like faking cinematic. You can like um, you can change all the color things to try and get it how you think is cinematic. This is just my opinion. It works well for me, and it's pretty fun, really. Right, so that's now rendered. We're going to open it up and see what that looks like. As you can see, it is a little pixelated. That's just because we've stretched it, but it looks pretty decent. And if, it was that, if that was slowed down, then it would look pretty good. This hasn't been my guide to making the video more cinematic. It's been my guide to show you how to make the video more cinematic. So go on, experiment. Mm -hmm. 